A couple stretches. That's a giant, dude. That is a giant. Dude, this might not be a bass. If this is a bass, it's freaking massive. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bill 96. This is the episode that you guys have all been waiting for. It is the final day on Smith Lake. Somehow, we went from 51st place and jumped up into 12th place and made that cut by two ounces, which I could not believe. We were right on the bubble for so freaking long and no one bumped us out and we just squeaked right in there to fish the final day. And the really cool thing about being in 12th place is there's nowhere to go but up. Since it's a top 12 cut, we can't drop any places. We can literally zero and we won't go down at all. So we're swinging for the fences. Not that we're really gonna change our game plan up or anything like that, but we're not afraid to fish new areas and try a little bit of different things as well. So really quick before I jump into the video, I gotta say this, I just launched my first merch. I got Bass and Bell 90 we have long sleeve t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, hooded sweatshirts, and then crew neck sweatshirts. So if you guys really like this channel and you want to help support me and help me make these videos and go on these awesome, super long, inexpensive trips, you guys can purchase some of that uh, clothing down below. I'm going to link it in the description. Uh, it should be a Teespring slash Bass and Build 96 link, something like that. But they're pretty sweet. Uh, I had a, a buddy of mine actually design that logo for me and I really like the way it turned out. He helped me out a ton. So hope you guys like the merch and I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is one that you're not going to want to miss so let's get right into it Okay, buddy. Day number three. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it, dude. I don't know how we made it here, but we did. <laughs> so we're gonna try to catch them today. See if we can move up a couple spots. Win us some money. <laughs> oh my. <clears throat> Day three. <clears throat> we're good at fishing. That's what we wanted. Got one. Yep, it's a big one. It's a giant, dude. It's a giant. Okay, about the fifth cast of the day. Just caught a solid four pound spot. Okay, that's the biggest one that we've caught so far. Okay, okay, cool. okay, championship day. Biggest spot of bass I've ever caught in my life. That's how that happens. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep, got the Kitek in her mouth. We're throwing a bluegill Kitek because one, we kind of ran out of Kitex, and two, they was catching all the giants yesterday once we uh, had to switch to it. Yeah, we're putting her in the big side. Oh, oh baby. Okay, well, uh, um, um, that's a giant. <laughs> Dude, championship day, baby. That's a big one. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, first, first skip under a dock today and the biggest spotted bass I've ever caught in my life, so that's good. Doesn't matter. Yeah, bounced her off the edge and boom. Also, I caught a... Uh, like a two and a half, three pounder under here yesterday. So, same exact skip. Got another one. Same spot. It's a crappie, it's a crappie, it's a crappie. Oh my God. It's a big old crappie. Well, she was sitting down there with a four pound spotted bass, little pound and a half crappie. That's a freaking slab. Holy smokes. Why was that not another four pound? Holy smokes, dude, what's going on? Got one, got one. Is it, look at crappie. It's a little giant crappie. Dude, that Holy smokes. Dude, what? What the heck? Another slab crappie. <laughs> That's the biggest crappie I feel like I've ever caught. <laughs> I just bumped this thing quick. Uh, it's about it's it's like tied with my biggest, it's like 14 and a half inches. 
That's a sled. It's like my second biggest crappie. That's insane. Why, why are we catching crappie today? In six days here, I've caught zero crappie. And today we've caught two, two giant ones. There we go, dude. That's a chunk. That's, a That's like a three. And a yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Two and a half. Oh, all day. Right in the front of the dog. Right where you're supposed to live. Thank you, baby. Aaron and I were just talking about, <clears throat> we only had one fish in the well. Starting to get a little bit discouraged, but honestly, our bites have come like at 11 o'clock and later throughout the day. So we're not like in bad shape. And the one that we caught this morning is a giant. So that we have like a giant bonus fish basically. And now we just need to get three more fish just like that one. And if we catch any more giant ones, that's a game changer. But we are actually looking pretty good right now. It's uh, 1030. So this is literally when we start catching fish. We got another good one now. So starting to put ourselves a little bit more at ease. We need two more or three more bites like that one. And if we get a big one, that's a bonus. My skipping has been very much so on point that this stretch in the last stretch. What? My skipping has been good in the past couple stretches. That's a giant, dude. That is a giant. Dude, this might not be a bass. If this is a bass, it's freaking massive. Please come out of here. Let's It's a wallowing beast. You're okay. You're okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god! That thing come! Oh! Oh! Okay, that's about a five pounder. That's about a five pounder. That's a five pounder. Uh, uh, that's a freak. Okay. Okay. I said hook on that. I'm like, dude, this might not be a bass. That's a freak. That is a freak, dude. Dude, holy. You know what, too? I should probably change this hook, because that's bent. Yeah. <laughs> Got one? There we go, buddy. There we go. Did he drop off? I don't know. He just got it choked. Yeah, oh yeah, you hooked him right in the cheek. Okay, Aaron just put our fourth fish in the boat like a freaking boss. Should I bump him? He's good. Nah, he's way good. That's like a 16 and a half, 17 maybe even. Not fat, not giant, but we have four bass with two kickers, so uh, yep. Giant bass. Get him over here. Oh my god! Oh my god, Aaron! Oh my god! I wasn't even recording. Aaron just threw up here. We, we pulled up on this freaking stretch of docks. We had a four, a five, and now like a freaking six pounder. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. All right, just, this thing already has like a cold tag mark in his mouth. We did not make that just so we know, because I know that's illegal to use those tags. We're, we're obviously not putting this thing on a cold tag. Oh my god. Just want to get what video evidence. Of, what do we need? Oh, oh, oh. God. Do you want a picture of that one? No. That update? No. no. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. If we catch another like fucking three or four. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna freak the fuck out. That's a fucking giant, dude. Oh no, that was such. Oh yeah. It went right over that thing, but then I got it over. Right in the juice still. Thank you. Should be. Big one. Good one, at least. Maybe. That might help a little bit. 
All right, so green is the next one to go, obviously. And this one's not gonna help, but it was fun. You're a fun fish. In there. Got one? That was on that shade line, huh? Good one. Yup. Aaron. Yup. There we go, buddy. <laughs> yes! Yes, sir! Popped right out. The second. And that's how you do it, boys. That's a three pounder. Check this out right here. The beef in this live ball right now is unreal. That's the call we're making. That is the call we're making right there. Aaron just called out. Called out his little one. This is unreal. We we have 20 pounds in the live well. Easy. We have 20 pounds. What do you got? You have a fish on. You have a fish on. Dude, you were just sitting it down there? Yeah. Is it a good one? I don't know. It's probably like a two pound. Oh, nope. That's gonna help, maybe. It might help. It might. Yeah, she'll be close. I think she might. Dude, you know how stupid that, that is. Yep, I do know how stupid that is. <laughs> Aaron just goes, this is on, yeah. Aaron just goes, I'm gonna dead stick it here, drops it down like 40 feet, and just lifts up, and this fish is just on there. Oh, no, I reeled into it. Did you? I was literally just like slow reeling on the bottom. I got you. Okay. That might help. That's a cold, buddy. Mm, not a great one. Not a bad one. Probably a good uh, five, six ounces of that. Because this one's stocky. So like, Yeah, we're getting rid of this guy. Super fat. A little shorter, though. Aaron's was two and change for sure. Two and a half. Oh, I just soaked me. Dude, the amount of beef in this live well right now is just absurd. Aaron has got an absolute freak. I have an absolute freak. I caught a big one this morning, and now we have two solid ones to back it up too. So things are getting spicy out here on Lewis Smith Lake. Like I ain't never seen it. Like I ain't ever, I ain't ever seen Lewis Smith like this. Five days I've been here. Six days, thank you. Six days I've been here, I ain't never seen her like this. Hold that up here where I don't be playing. Oh, it's a little wet. <laughs> you wasn't kidding. Yeah. You want to say something about Yeah, please. What, do you want to see the big one? Yeah, Rich and I get a few of them up. Hold them up, tell us your name and what's your, what's your university, what's your college? Uh, my name is Bill Matthews and we go to Grand Valley State University. Let's back home, okay. Right, yeah. hey. right, five, yeah. Are you happy with that? Oh, we're extremely happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey, they just slip in under the radar. Right. <laughs> you never know. Right. Do they have a bag of fish? Get ready, Hampsville, five fish in your bag, looking for 12.8. This might be the biggest bag of the tournament. If it's bigger than 29, it's the biggest bag of the tournament, looking for 12.8. 21 pounds, four ounces, biggest bag of the tournament. 47 pounds, seven ounces, and three days of fishing. The new leaders, Aaron Lily and William Matthews. We came, we had a rough first day, we only caught just under 12 pounds. Really brought it yesterday to get to that final 12, and today we went out smacked them pretty good. I mean, the biggest bag of the tournament, yeah, you smacked them good. 21-4, we're smiling. All right, let's talk about fishing. There's a lot of people out here who want to know how you guys caught those. Uh, we were catching them all pretty much on Kitex. Uh, the, the first day we were fishing, mostly bluff walls and mixed in a little bit of docks. And uh, 
kind of progressively, you know, yesterday and today, we caught everything off docks because we were getting better quality. And we just couldn't get bit off a bluff all at all. And I don't know, it all came together today. What'd you catch that uh, that big one on? Same thing? Yeah, we had it on the Kai Tech. Um, somehow, the one, the big one yesterday and the big one today, you make a kind of an odd little cast, and somehow you come up with a big one there. Awesome. All right, let's get some thank yous in. Yeah, I just want to thank my sponsors, uh, Fox River Rods and Lures and uh, Edge Eyewear, and then also Biz Bates with Brian. Uh, and then my family, everyone watching back home. I know I have a ton of people out there. Uh, my fiance, but just everyone that's get, kind of helped me get here. A uh, huge shout out to Danny Sprague too, because our boat actually went down at Norman. He let us borrow his brand new Ranger, and uh, I don't know if we would even been able to fish without it. So that was huge. Yes, for sure. All those people, and then I got family, my girlfriend, friends, all the Grand Valley sponsors, and just everybody who really made it happen for us. Well, that's a way to take over the hot seat. Have a seat, guys. You're new leaders. That just happened. <laughs> we dropped the biggest bag of the tournament on the final day, 21 pounds and four ounces of all spotted bass. And that kept going on and on and on. And then we get to the fourth place team and this happens. 16-3 will unseat Grand Valley with these five. You might have it looking for 16-3. 18 pounds, four ounces. Are gonna move into the lead. Get loud for Grand Valley State Aaron and William. Austin Ryan still right here, guys. This way, still the biggest bag of the tournament. We'll see if that holds up. It could be worth a $250 Bachelor Nitro gift card for that big bag. Great job. What can I say, man? Appreciate it. Hey, you went all right. You were there for. You were there. I know. I uh, thought we almost had it. <laughs> like I was telling everyone home, like you were jumping from 12 to first. Yeah. Yeah, we Not quite. We, we needed a better day one. We only had 11, 12, but we had had a little better day one. That's where we needed to improve. That was the biggest bag of the week. Oh yeah, that was the biggest bag of the tournament. But how does that? That's that, that's that's an honor in itself. Isn't oh yeah, that was a phenomenal day out there today for sure. That's one of the biggest bags I've ever caught in tournament fishing, and I've been doing it probably for like eight to ten years. Wow, unbelievable! Everything, everything yeah. came together. There yeah, for sure. guys, you were up there. We got you on camera. Yep. Well done. Thank, Thank you so it. much. Yeah, appreciate well, it. Next time. Next yeah, time. Next Thank time. You. Thank you. So we eventually got knocked out of the hot seat, which honestly, I didn't think we were going to sit up there. I didn't think that we were going to be there for that long. I figured we might have got like sixth place, seventh place, something like that. We stayed up there until the fourth place team knocked us out. And then something absolutely insane happened. New leaders, 18 pounds, two ounces. And that's, this is Grand Valley's second 18 pound bag. Three days of fishing, Lucas Murphy and Mitchell Gunn from Grand Valley State. We want both teams side by side. Let's get tight. Five fish in Montebello's bag. They don't need much because they had such a big bag yesterday. They need 13, 14. If it's anything less, Grand Valley has it. Looking for 13, 14. The suspense. They settle down on the stage, on the scales. Looking for 13, 14. 10 pounds, 10 ounces. And Grand Valley. It's going to take home that trophy. Montebello, we're going to have you guys hold some fish up. GVSU took another back-to-back -back win. Last year, Lucas won on Cherokee Lake with Nolan Hit. Uh, Nolan Hit graduated, and for the Bassmaster Series, Lucas is fishing with Mitchell Gunn. Uh, I fish with Lucas for the FLW Series and some of the ACA ones, but we kind of flip all around. Like, I fish for Mitch with CBTs, I fish for Aaron, I fish with Aaron for the Bassmasters, and so they're fishing the Bassmaster Series, and he got a back-to-back -back win in these massive tournaments with like 250 boats, which is absolutely unheard of. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. I guess they've only been doing these massive regionals for like a couple of years, two or three years or whatever it's been. But yeah, GVSU took first and fourth place in this tournament with 251 boats. We sent two teams down and got first and fourth place out of 251 boats, which is absurd. So, like I've probably said about 50 times between this video and then some of my other videos hyping this one up, that was one of the most insane tournaments of my life. Taking fourth place out of 251 boats is definitely an accomplishment that I'm super proud of. We qualified for nationals. We won a little bit of money that helps offset these super long and uh, expensive trips. So, 
it felt awesome to just get it done and catch the biggest bag of the tournament too which I think we also get like a $250 gift card for that but if you guys like this video and you guys like what I'm doing on this channel here hit that subscribe button I'm gonna be posting so many more tournament videos we just got back from Cumberland so those videos are gonna be going up soon and I'm heading down to Bull Shoals on Sunday and we're fishing another one of these Bassmaster Opens so hopefully we make another top 12 cut because that would be freaking sweet that'd be freaking sweet I'd love to make another one of these top 12 cuts but thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time.